House that His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa has violated, has grossly violated Articles 10 to 1A, 1 to 1, 10 to B and C, Articles 27 4, Article 73 1A and 2B, Article 75 1C, and Article 129, sub Article 2 of the Constitution of Kenya as well as Articles 147.1, as read with Article 131.2c and d of the Constitution of Kenya. And when the time comes, Mr. Speaker, I will be laying detail, article by article, to show the violations. On ground number two, Mr. Speaker and honorable members, at the opportune time, I will demonstrate to Kenyans that His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa has violated Article 147.1 of the Constitution and Article 152.1 of the Constitution of Kenya, the most progressive constitution in Africa. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, on ground three, I will be demonstrating before this House to Kenyans and to the international community that His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa has violated Article 6.2 of the Constitution, Article 10.2a of the Constitution, Article 174 of the Constitution, Article 186.1 of the Constitution, Article 189.1 of the Constitution, as well as the fourth schedule of the Constitution of Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this is the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. It is not a mere document. It speaks to the soul of this nation. Underground 4, Mr. Speaker, I will demonstrate that His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa has violated Article 161 of the Constitution of Kenya. I will further demonstrate Underground 5 that His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa, the Deputy President, the current Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, has grossly violated Article 3.1 as read together with Article 148.5a of the Constitution. Underground 6, Mr. Speaker and Honorable Members, I will demonstrate that the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa has committed crimes under Section 13.1 A and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act, the act that speaks to our nationhood, the act that speaks to our multi-ethnicity, the act that speaks to our society remaining together as a cohesive society. And I will demonstrate with videos, I will demonstrate with affidavits, I will demonstrate with documents that the man holding the office of the Deputy President has violated the same law that he saw to protect in his own oath of office. Yeah. Underground 7, Mr. Speaker, I will demonstrate before this House that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has committed crimes under sections 45.1 Section 46, Section 47A3, Section 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. Anti-Corruption, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, and Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. By using his office to unjustly enrich himself, by using his office to acquire within two months properties well beyond 55.2 billion. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I will demonstrate before this House that during the presidential debate, if I may be listened to, Mr. Speaker, that during the presidential debate, oh, His, Excellency, members. His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa did declare that he was worth 800 million. We are aware that he's paid slightly over 1 billion, meaning that for the last two years, the match he could have accumulated justly is about 24 million. But I will demonstrate before Kenyans that he has properties to himself, the ones that I was able to be able to get in my time of research, worth 5.2 billion Kenya shillings. This is what we call unexplained assets, and we must lay the dragon of corruption from the highest office. Mr. Speaker, under the same ground, I will also be demonstrating, this is ground number seven, that is excellent.